Okay, so other than just show you every single ad that's out there, uh, this Chrome extension is actually so much more intelligent than that because you can actually tell it what ads you want it to find. And you can use this through the Hunt Hot Ads feature just here. So if you click Enable, and then you can find, uh, you can filter the ads by how many comments it's got. So let's say this one here, it's only got 60 comments. It's not massively popular, so you might not be interested in this. Or maybe you are, I don't know. Um, so you can actually filter it by how many comments it's got. So say here, uh, you only want to see ads with more than 100 comments. So I'm just going to enter 100 into there. And then it's only going to show me ads that have 100 comments or more on it. So the extra social proof of the likes, it, it just goes extra step into showing you that it's a, you know, it's a good ad, but people are engaging with it and they're responding well to it. Now you might be wondering why I've only chose to sort it by comments, why not by shares, why not by likes, why not by video views, and there's actually a good reason for this. Uh, aside from running Product Mafia, I do still have my own Shopify store, and I run a lot of Facebook ads for it, a lot, a lot of Facebook ads. In fact, here I'll show you. Hey Siri, what's today's date? It's Sunday, December 16th, 2018. Hey Siri, total sales for this month. Lenders total sales for this month are $51,743.21 from 2,174 orders. And one thing that I've noticed from spending thousands of dollars on Facebook ads every day is that sometimes an ad, it can get loads and loads of likes and not many sales. And you look at an ad and you see all the likes and you think, wow, it's got so many likes, it must have so many sales. And then when you check the ads account, actually it hasn't made that many sales at all and you're losing money on the ad. And same with the shares, sometimes it gets a lot of shares or a lot of video views and you, you get all these hopes up, you think, wow, it must be doing really well. And then when you check the back end, the ROAS, actually it's not doing too well. Uh, but what I've noticed fr from spending thousands of dollars on ads every single day for, for the past four years is that comments are the best indicator of success of an ad. So sometimes uh, an ad will get loads and loads of comments and you think, wow, it must be doing really well, and you check, and yeah, it is doing really well. It's quite rare, it's rarely the case, that an ad would get loads of comments and it doesn't get loads of shares on the back, uh, get loads of sales on the back end. Um, so that's why I've chosen to source it only by ads, because filtering by likes or by video views that's the quickest way of losing money on thinking that you found winning products when actually you haven't. Um, but sometimes comments, they can be artificially inflated. So sometimes if a product is so ridiculous, people tag the friend and they think, look at this product, it's so ridiculous, but no one actually buys it. No one likes it. They just want to show the friend. Uh, and it's the same with the share. Some, sometimes people share it like, oh, look, there's some fake man bun, what New Look was doing. And... Um, I've actually got a friend who works at New Look, and that got loads and loads of shares, but not that many sales. Uh, it was just kind of funny to share. So um, what we've done now is uh, the comments, is you can sort the comments by the equal ratio of uh, likes or, or shares. So let's say for every 100 comments, you'd expect the third of them comments to, be, to you know, come through to likes. So if someone's got 100 comments, you'd expect at least 30 likes. If it doesn't have 30 likes, then it's probably not a winning product. It's probably got, you know, the uh, the like the comments from another reason. Maybe it's a contest and they're asking them to post below the favorite milkshake or something. So I've got this extra extra layer on there just to help you also put like an extra an extra layer. So you're only finding ads that you know are definitely winning ads. So not only do they have a whole lot of comments on there to show you it's a good ad but you can also check how many likes it's got. So it's not just a comment that people are commenting, it's not, sorry, it's not just an ad that people are commenting on, it's an ad that people are commenting on and liking. So you got that extra you know, security that it is a winning product.